Hi, this may be the start of a new video. I'm AJ, nice to meet you. Welcome. Yeah, let me explain to you guys what's happening today. Ignore the fan, I'm sorry about that. It's quarter to nine at night. Yesterday, basically, I didn't like my hair. So I was like, mm, nope, not filming. This morning, I forgot to film. I woke up just in time for the um, overtime of the Avs and the Knights game, which the Avs won. Because I think I woke up at like six, 10 past six, and it was just beginning overtime and I was like dreamy because their game started at 3 a.m my time and then when that finished I watched a bit of the Habs and the Jets game that was a really dodgy hit at first I thought it was fine but now people are talking about it and I'm like oh I don't think it is from Mark Shifley who I really liked on a Habs player and got ready went to the library I had two library friends today so that was fun came home had dinner watched coming on mine to mum and dad and had a body shower and i'm getting ready for bed really early because folks a last minute thing the other day um i am going to court tomorrow to shadow a barrister that's like my mum's friend's friend's husband you know one of them it's like a friend of a friend friend thing terrified terrified um i mainly terrified about clothes what do i wear that was my main concern because i have a suit but it's not dark colors and everywhere says that you need to wear dark colors it's beige hun it's all i've got it's literally all i've got because i fully lent my sister my black smart trousers so i'm gonna have to roll with it um confidence is key and because i've got black shoes as well which don't go but you know what it's fine um i'm gonna wear a black shirt to try and make it match a bit more what i'm gonna do now is put my phone down play some calming music because i am panicking about it i am very very out of my comfort zone never been to court don't even want to be a barrister um i've never met this man before i need to be in town at half nine i'm going to walk because i don't trust the bus system so i'm going to be that person walking around in a suit with trainers on and i'm gonna have to have my other shoes in my bag at what point do people change them I don't know. So I'm going to sort a bag out now. That's what I'm going to do now. And tomorrow is the Islanders and Bruins game, uh, game three. But obviously I don't want to risk not having enough time to like finish that or whatever or not get ready at the same time. It sounds nuts when I say that because I need to leave here at 8.45. I'm going to try and wake up at five, assuming that we don't go into overtime. Today I woke up at six. Like it's not that big. It's an hour's jump, but it's not like horrific because obviously a normal hockey game is like three hours long including the intermissions not including overtime so in my head i'm like okay three hours that means i can watch the whole hockey game and then like get ready in the intermissions and have breakfast and stuff and spend time like things i won't be wearing much makeup i will literally be wearing like kind of the makeup i wore today probably won't wear the eyeliner make my hair look smart i won't straighten it or do anything to it because it is kind of already straight the actual getting ready will take me of my hair and makeup 10 minutes but i know that i will be worried about not being ready in time and all of that so i want to get ready like really early if i want eight hours of sleep then i would need to be asleep by nine which is in 10 minutes which is not going to happen because i'm still a big ball of stress but i'm going to get ready my room is a mess because my clothes are everywhere but that again can be something i do tomorrow if i've got spare time i think the thing that i know about myself is like the Islanders and the Bruins games, like the Islanders playoff games, I watch because they're my team. I sit and watch all the others. I can like multitask at the same time. Like I can, you know, get my breakfast and edit some videos. Like with the Islanders game, I can't even like make my breakfast at the same time as it's happening because I'm like looking at the game, trying to like cut up fruit, which is a hazard, which you shouldn't do. Um, so that's why I want to leave loads of time for it, you know. But yeah, obviously it's stressful because I have my master's exams start on Monday and they're going to court tomorrow it means that I'm missing a day of studying literally like three days before my exams. But this is the only time I can do it. So, you know what? I'm going to get ready, pack my bag and listen to calming music. Otherwise, I'm going to have a crisis. We're in the first period, the Bruins have won. I have hope though. Pasternak, the Bruins will escape harm here. That's a great... 
All of a sudden I got really cold. So I put my bra university jumper on and trackies because I was cold. It's third period, ignore the hair. I tied this up so that when there's like a break or something I can go wash my face. It is still one nothing. And it's currently 25 past six. So I've managed to get two hours and five minutes through the stream in an hour and 25 minutes. We love the ad breaks. Oh my god, okay, so Barbie just scored to tie it. <laughs> my dad brought me coffee, but I haven't drunk it yet because it was too hot. We're in overtime. It's just started. There's been like two minutes. But I know that there's only seven minutes left of this stream. I'm patiently waiting and I'm streaming on a different website than I normally do, so I don't know if they will just. And I'm gonna wait for my suit on till like the last minute because I don't want to sweat in it and like panic, you know? But yeah, it's just gone seven o'clock, so I still have loads of time, which is good. So scared. So scared. Here's my concern we're dominating the overtime, right? But I. I'm concerned that we're going to dominate the overtime and then the bees will get it. It's my concern. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm out, I'm done. I actually hate my entire life. What just happened? I actually hate him. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. Don't hate. I do. Strong in his own end behind his own net. Fuck. To just fight for. Look at Bertrand. Sees it. Reverses it. Now they can come out with McAvoy's got all that space. And all he does is just dump it off and go for a change. And this is just a surprise shot. Are you joking me? Are you joking me? For time from a tough angle and he finds a way to beat Semyon Merlamov Red Marchand on the spot <laughs> all of the islanders look how I feel like disbelief, shock some of them are laughing and they're like how did that just happen <laughs> go away did a great job battle out uh, of the D zone on a long shift uh, and Chucky just kind of slowed the play down luckily found the back of the net I have to turn it off oh, I can't stand him well the good news is the bars he got a goal maybe that'll like kickstart him next time so now the series is 2-1 the next game is still a home game so hopefully we'll be able to do something better than we did today fuck Ooh. um yeah so it's nearly 10 past 7 I'm gonna go prepare my breakfast, go get ready. <laughs> Baby's big day. I'll be changing out of those, don't worry. It's quarter two. Goodbye. <sighs> okay, so I haven't I haven't been able to film all day because I've been in court. My phone has literally been off since half ten. It's three o'clock, we go out early because it's a Friday. I just got off the bus and I'm going straight to the library because I really want to study today and it's really warm and sunny and I could, if I hesitate, go sit outside. Um, I don't even know if you can see me, but I'm going to change my bags around rapidly, rapid fire, because I'm hoping to catch the bus I just got off of because the way my bus route works is it's like a loop lanyard socks yeah the way it works is a loop so i'm hoping that i can literally get back on the same bus when it comes around in like 15 10 15 minutes but the app says the one's coming in seven minutes so we'll see it's 20 degrees what do i wear i'm literally in like hefty god what do i wear panic water bottle crisps phone charger uh headphones oh my god 
book. Uh, that's tall. That's tall. What's this? Contracts. Equities and trusts. Equities and fuck. Equities and trusts. Uh, right. Clothes. Twenty degrees. Twenty degrees. Do you want to wear shorts? No. We're gonna wear holy jeans with a small top. Is my plan. Corp is really good. Anything useful in my pockets? Handkerchief. It was literally just a summery day. I just ripped another hole in my thigh anyway. And the guy was really nice that I was shadowing and he like bought me lunch. We had Eat a Pitta, which I've never had before. The Lord works in mysterious ways because I felt very professional with this hair, which is shocking, I know. To be honest, could I just wear this? Can I just wear this? Yeah, I mean, it looks a bit stupid, but I'm nothing if not an imbecile, so. Shoes back on. Well, I have crisps. Mask, these sunglasses. God, this is a task. Um, sunglasses just gonna fall right off my head. Did I put them? Yes, I did. Right, I think I have everything. Do I need a jacket? I'll put this one in just in case. Headphones, headphones, headphones. I literally just had them. I wouldn't have put them in here, would I? Maybe. Maybe if I'm feeling stupid, inhaler, lip balm, toothpaste, everything. Crikey, I literally would have just had the headphones. Where have I put them? What is wrong with me? Get out. I was stupid, I did put them in the bag. Okay, I'm just gonna hope that I can make the bus. Bye friends. I hope you guys have enjoyed that is all from me for today i'm gonna love you and leave you i hope you all had an amazing day and i will see you hopefully next monday with another video bye